was another one, man. Um, I went out, I went outside the sale for the first time in like nine days, and um, I was working out, running up and down the stairs, man. And, uh, I heard something drop on the floor, like. After a few minutes of running up and down the steps, <clears throat> after a few minutes of running up and down the steps, um, I heard something drop, and immediately I jumped. And the whole time it was just like a, a cup falling on the floor. I don't know if y'all can hear this, but I'm gonna give y'all an example. I don't know if y'all heard that or not, but that's a sound he made. Like just imagine something dropping, just imagine a plastic cup dropping on the floor. And immediately, I thought somebody was scuffling. I thought somebody had got punched or something. And um, I don't know if you ever been in prison and maybe people who've been in prison or people who are in prison can vouch for this. Hold on real quick. But um, maybe maybe the people who've been in prison or who are in prison can vouch for this. But um, like when y'all hear sounds, do y'all jump? And this is for the people who are home. Like even though y'all done been in prison, when y'all hear stuff drop or when y'all hear shoes shuffling like this on the floor, do y'all automatically think that somebody's fighting or somebody's scuffling? Cause immediately I heard that, I heard that cup drop on the floor. It was sitting on top of somebody's door and it fell. And I turned around so quick that I was, I was embarrassed. But I kept running up and down the stairs like nothing happened. But somebody seen me and, I, and I'm, I'm pretty sure somebody else jumped too. I think a lot of people jumped. And I just wanna add, I, I just wanna tell y'all like, especially if you've never been to prison, First, I want to tell you not to ever come because I'm getting worse. But second, I want to tell y'all to be patient with the men and women leaving this place because especially if they've been down for a while because if certain things that happen is going to trigger old memories. That's why being released from this place, you have to be around a community of people who understand you. Um, that's why right now I'm formulating some communities that we'll be able to use, but I'll, I'll get more in that later on. But the goal is to formulate communities that's understanding of us. So when they see us jumping, they don't think that we're going crazy. Because usually in prison, when you hear some, some scuffling or you hear something drop, you automatically think there's is something going on. And most of the time it is. Somebody could have gotten off, but on this particular time, they weren't. It was nothing going on. Um, nothing out of the ordinary was happening, at least that I could see. I'm pretty observant, even though I mind my business and respect everybody. Um, but just be a little bit more patient with the men and women leaving this place, man. Um, if, if they see a... a um, a police officer and they start hiding stuff. <laughs> just, just be a little bit patient with them, man. Just be a little bit patient with us. Um, if they hear some yelling and they jump, just be a little bit, just be a little bit patient with them, man. Because you know, as I get closer to the streets, God willing, to going home, I still do some of these things, and that's a lot of reason why I stay inside the room, man, inside the cell, because of like. Is, is almost inevitable, man. Either people coming up to you telling you some BS or it's just that paranoia. You know, I never understood why guys would act like that. Because before the, before these charges, I actually had a clean record. But I had a lot of homeboys who would come to prison. And homegirls who would come to prison or jail and they would never be the same. 
and now that I'm in your shoes, I understand it now. So just be a little bit patient with us as we exit from this place back into society. Just be a little bit uh, patient with us, man. And, um, like I said, I went out there for a scientific experiment, man, just to see how I would cope with being out there after being in the room for so long. So I can imagine how it's gonna be on society. You know what I'm saying? Like, the only thing that happened out there was a cup drop. And just as that cup dropped, my heart dropped because it was right behind me. So I looked back like, oh, and you know, so just be, just be patient with the men and women leaving this place. And to my brothers and sisters who will be leaving this place, whether from the men's facility or from the women's facility, man, just be a little bit patient with yourself. Um, and if you're in the streets, if you just got out and you've seen this video, man, I hope that this is a reminder that you're not going crazy. You just have to adjust to that environment. Um, and for the people, the men and women who are about to leave this place, just be, just be patient with yourselves, man. If you don't get it right away, just understand that you have to readjust. But don't readjust to the point that you get caught up in your old ways. Readjust to the point of, okay, I see what's going on. I can adapt to it. And I can elevate above what's going on. So yeah, just be a little bit patient with yourselves, man. And for the family members of the men and women who believe in this place, just be a little bit patient with them. I love y'all. Most important, I want y'all to love yourselves. It's never goodbye. It's always see you later. See you later.